There are a million ways you can do this, but this one I find most versatile. You end up with a shape of onion that you can use in just about every recipe. So you start by cutting both ends off the onion. And when I cut down as a sort of a little head start, I always cut all the way down, press my knife against the board, and then lift the onion up. Sometimes that catches a little bit of the skin and pulls some of the skin off. It didn't happen here. Uh, and that would cut through that outer layer of skin and give me something to grab onto. Because, but because that didn't happen, I'm just making a little cut into this outermost layer. And pulling everything off. This skin is behaving pretty well. If it were a little more papery, I might just go ahead and cut down through the next layer of onion and peel that off too because it would be a little faster. I'm not going to spend a lot of time very carefully pulling everything off. Onions are cheap. All right, so you've got that. You just cut it lengthwise, pull to pull. And then with each half, make sure you get all the skin out of the way. With each half, you're just going to cut across the onion like this. So the first few cuts, you're cutting a little bit sideways into the onion. And then as you come up around the curve of the onion, you're cutting more straight down. And once you get about here, this little piece of onion is getting a little wobbly and hard to hold up. Then you just tip it over on its side and finish up like that. Before I do the other half, I'll just point out to how I'm holding my knife. It helps if you choke up on it like this. You see a lot of knives with sort of ergonomic grips down here, which is a little pointless because most, most people don't hold their knives like this, or most restaurant people, I should say. If you go into a restaurant kitchen, you see a lot of people holding onto their knives like this, the front finger just up past the tang of the blade and, the, and your middle finger resting against the heel. That just gives you a lot more control over the knife. You're holding it right at the midpoint, and it's more balanced in your hand. So I'll show you the other half like this. Same thing. Flip it over. And the nice thing is that last little, last little half slice, last little third of the onion slices up very easily and doesn't wobble at all.